Hello friends and welcome to our 1000 Below collaboration for October. You saw Andrea Picard of Art Tabulous Creations before me and following me will be Tammy DeCaro Art. She's also pretty fabulous and a great friend. Our special guest this month is Lisa Marvin of Lisa Marvin Art. She challenged us to do any technique but using certain colors. Well, I think that my piece might remind you of something. One thing I will say is there is a little surprise at the end. So please stay and watch till the end and you will see why I used the colors in the way that I did. So let's get down to the canvas and get started. So I am using all Deco Art Ready Pour paints. And even when I had to mix the colors so that they would be in our, <clears throat> our challenge colors, um, I used the Deco Art, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Deco Art uh, um, Ready Pour. So let's start with Ivory Black. Now, I did not have Ivory Black, nor did I have Mars Black in the Deco Art. It is Jet Black, and I added 10 drops of Burnt Sienna and 5 drops of Ivory. Um, the reason being that when I looked up what the Ivory Black description was on Google, they said that the black has just a very slight tinge of brown and a little bit of ivory white. That's why I only used five drops. All of these paints have um, a little bit of GAC 800 plus water. So that's the black. And then we have dioxazine purple that was in the challenge. So I took navy and re true red, blue violet, and deep periwinkle, and lavender. And I came up with dioxazine purple. The Billy Bong in the TLPs I did not have, so I mixed pearl white, deep turquoise, with eight drops of aquamarine, and then of course the GAC and the water. Now, according to my phone screen, this was the color. It was a light turquoise. Okay, emerald. I did use the Deco Art Metallic, um, not the Ready Pour because I don't have a Ready Pour that is a emerald color. So I added GAC and water with the uh, Deco Art Metallic Emerald. Gold. I used the Deco Art Glorious Gold Metallic and added the GAC and the water. Lily Pad. I don't have that one either, but I think I got it pretty close. And I used neon green, chartreuse, uh, crystal green metallic, and GAC. And again, according to the picture, that looked pretty close. Now this was an interesting one, the ultramarine violet. Well, I took blue violet, magenta, and the GAC and the water because when I looked it up, since I don't have that color in any of the brands, this is what showed up on my phone screen. I will be using 
some of the Deco Art Ready Pour White to break up some of the colors. Now, I found this in my studio. I have no idea where it came from, who I got it from, but it's got an open bottom and an open top. So I am going to use this to put my colors in and then lift it up and move the colors around. I've not used this before, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Now I did line this up, got little marks here so I know where to put it. There we go. And <clears throat> in each chamber, I'm going to put a separate color. Now I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight colors. And there are more than that in terms of little cubby holes. So as I go along, I'll try, I will decide on how I'm going to handle that. I may just go ahead and do some layers in here. <coughs> so I'm going to start with the dioxazine purple. Now this is pretty thin because I really wanted it to flow. Oh, by the way, I <coughs> brushed the canvas with the Chroma Krill um, white uh, Floetrol, and I can't read what's on there. Um, Floa, I think. And this is what I had left over from a previous pour. So I brushed it on here and it's nice and shiny. I thought the paints would flow over it easily. And if I have trouble with the flow, I will use the white to kind of help it along. So I'm gonna put some music on and I hope you enjoy this presentation.
really like the way this came out. I think it reminds me of Beetlejuice colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. But with my little bit of embellishing, you can definitely see all the colors represented. And I do think we have a critter in the midst. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I hope it dries as great as it is with the wet. But we shall see. dried beautifully. Now there is a little bit of crazing, but I don't mind that. It actually gives it some interesting texture. I am very happy with it. It was fun using all those colors for sure. And it was fun using that gizmo that I found. <laughs> I hope you liked my interpretation of kind of a Beetlejuice universe. And you saw him sneaking in, in the center. Thanks so much for watching and following me is Tammy DeCaro of Tammy DeCaro Art. All of the artists to this point have been wonderful. So thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. And remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Bye-bye.